Amanda had a question about uh, another algebraic word problem. Um, this is a system of equations problem here. I have a couple of relationships going on, uh, but let's take a look. Uh, let me grab a different colored pen. Okay. A certain field has a perimeter of 320 yards, and its length measures 40 yards more than its width. Find the dimensions of the field, and we're going to express our answer as an ordered pair. Okay, let's start with drawing a picture. Um, if you're if you have a shape and they don't tell you what the shape is, like a field or a room, just go ahead and assume rectangle, unless it's something that you know has a different shape than that. But a field is usually a rectangle, so let's go ahead and assume it's a rectangle. Now, I see the equation right here. A certain field has a perimeter of 320 yards. I'm going to be able to make an equation out of this fact, the fact that I know what the perimeter is equal to, and I know how to find the perimeter of a rectangle. However, the problem is my equation, if I do it, will have two different variables. Right now, the way it stands, I have a uh, width of a field and a length of a field. Those are the two things we use to find the perimeter of a field. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is because I don't want two different letters in my equation. Equations with two letters in them are hard to solve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the relationship between length and width. And I see it right here. Its length measures 40 yards more than its width. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm comparing length to width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that letter W since width is what I'm comparing length to. But instead of calling the length length, I'm going to call it the W plus 40. Because what I know is that the length is, see, I'm reading this, the length is 40 more than the width. That right there is an equation. And so I find out one way I can talk about length is by calling it W plus 40. 40. Let me erase this extra markings here. Okay. Now I'm going to use those two things to write a perimeter equation. Remember that if you're finding the perimeter of a rectangle, one way to do it, now you can use the formula P equals 2W plus 2L, that's fine. But one way you can very simply find perimeter is just to add up all the sides. This side, plus this side, plus this side, plus this side, and I think I'll do that for the sake of ease. Now, if you want to use the formula, you'll get to the exact same place. But I know that the perimeter is equal to adding up all the sides. So I have a W plus this side here, which I decided I would call W plus 40. And some people say, why aren't you calling it L? Again, because I don't want two separate letters. I want to use the same letter. Now, this side over here, what would this be? This would be another W. So I'm going to add another W. And this side over here, what would this be? A W plus 40. So I'm going to add another W plus 40. Now one thing that I didn't do that I should have done here is insert my last piece of information. I know this. A certain field has a perimeter of 320. That means the perimeter, the P, is not a mystery. The perimeter is 320. So I could in fact even erase this P right here and instead of calling P, P, I'm going to call it 320. And now look, now I have one equation. It might be a little messy. I'm about to clean it up. But I have one equation that only has one kind of letters, W's. So let us clean it up. We're going to do our simplifying in an equation before we do our solving. So on the left-hand side, there's no simplifying to do. I can't put any numbers together because there's just one number. But on the right-hand side, there's simplifying to do. One thing I can do is gather up all these W's. A W and another W and another W and another W, that's a total of four W's. Okay, and I have plus 40 and another plus 40, that's plus 80. Again, I'm simplifying, I'm working forwards, I'm doing uh, the simplifying before I start solving. But now if you look at this equation, there's no more work to do on the left side. There never was any. There's no more work to do on the right side because I cannot do this addition because these are not like terms. It's time to start solving. To move let numbers around, new, I'm sorry, we're going to solve. We're going to move the numbers away so that the letter can be alone. And remember when you solve, you work the order of operations backwards. So I'm going to work Gemma backwards. I'm going to start with anything that's adding or subtracting and get rid of that first. So to get rid of a plus 80, I'm going to do the opposite of plus, which is subtract. And I can do whatever I want to an equation as long as I do it to both sides. On this side, plus 80 and minus 80 cancel, leaving me with just 4w. On this side, 320 minus 80 is 240. Oops. 
Now I'm almost done here. Uh, I will be as soon as my W is alone. So to get this W alone, this four and this W currently are all smooshed together like this. Proximity in math class means multiplication. So I'm gonna divide away that four. Whatever I do to the right hand side, I'm gonna do to the left hand side. And I get to this fact, 240 divided by four is 60. So I found out the width of my rectangle is equal to 60. But be careful, I don't just wanna know the width. It says find the dimensions of the field, dimensions in plural. I need to know the length too, but we know something. We know that the length is equal to the width plus 40. So if I wanted to start with the width and get to the length, I would have to add 40. So let's do that. Let's, to find the length, let's take that width we just found. We just found a width of 60 and add 40 on it to it. And we find out the length is 100. Now, if I was gonna express that ordered pair, I'd start with that W, that's a 60, and my 100 is the length, uh, width comma length, and there's my ordered pair, 60, 100. I don't know why they asked you to express it as an ordered pair, by the way, Amanda. Um, that's not as normal, but whatever, if that's what her homework said to do, by all means, have uh, do it that way. But usually we would write something like the dimensions of the field are 60 feet by 100 feet. And when I write times there, I don't mean multiply the two numbers, I just mean the word by, I'm too lazy to spell. Excellent, I hope that helps drop any video, uh, I mean, any questions you have in the comments.